And of course, now we're do the hellas again. We do the hella, 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 hella. Pushing that hip out. Hella, hella, hella. Now we're doing a hella, hella. Double the fun. Point, bring it in. Point, bring it in. Point, bring it in. Point, bring it in. My elbows started getting fluffy. The hips go out. So that's your goal, is to get the hips out. Hella, 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 hella. Hips stay out. Hips stay out. Single hella, just a hella. Hella, 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 hella. Hella, hella. <laughs> double, double. Okay, review. Now we're doing the Uwehe, U-W-E-H-E. -E. You're going to, most beginners will um, keep their hips flat. I mean, they're not moving side to side. They're stepping, stepping, and then pop your knees out by going on your toes. But the knees go forward, ueki, uehe, out. We're gonna do it out so you can visually see it. I'm not doing this. I'm not popping up and out. I'm only popping forward. So, step, pop. Your toes, bringing the heels down. Step. Pop the toes, bring the heel down. That's the beginner, right? Beginner, no hip movement, right? I, I don't want you to do this. I want you to start off learning to move your hips. Um, when you're a kid, it's easier. When you're an adult, it's hard to coordinate everything. So I want you to start doing it now. So we're going to put all the weight on your left foot, left leg, it's bent, and just pick up that foot, your right foot, just a little. Bring the weight center, and when you do, pop your knees, and now switch the weight to the other leg. Just like the hella, you know how we switch the weight? So now we're here, bring the hip center, pop, bring it to the other side. Step. Center, pop, switch the weight. So you're, you're basically just doing this. You're switching and tapping, right? It's not a big pickup with your foot. It's just a tap, pick up the foot, pop the knees, bring it to the side. One and pop, two and pop, three and pop, four, Center, pop, side. Center, pop, side. Center, pop, side, and side. So when I pop my knees, my body's centered. And all you do is just switch the weight from one side to the other. Once you get that pendulum feeling, you could do this all day long. I don't think so. Yeah. You really, really won't get too tired, except if you're bending lower. So if I bend lower, I'm gonna pop, I mean, the hip's gonna go out more. Now I'm, now I'm in my relaxed position. Ah, I can have a cup of coffee. And that's where I want you to get when you do this. Um, Naomi, who's not in Tuesday morning, has a has not had a knee replacement, but her arthritis is so bad, she can't do a pop out. So for those of you in that position, um, you can do this. Stick your hip out. <laughs> this is the old lady's cheating version. Step and throw that knee, just go like this. 
but when you do bring that hip in. So we're going to step, throw it out, step, throw it out, step, throw it out. You see what I'm saying? I, don't, I really don't want anyone to do this except if you have knees like Naomi. So if you're over 70, <laughs> you have the option of cheating. I don't want you to, but if you have to, you have to. I had to cheat when I got my knee replaced. But now I don't. Right? So, Uwehi. Well, that's all we're going to do on a wehi. We're not going to do any other step. Weki is popping the knee forward. Step, pop forward. Step, pop forward. Whoops. Step, pop forward. Step, pop forward. Step, pop forward. Step, pop forward. Wehi. Pop out. Pop out. Pop out. Pop out. Weki. Pop forward. Pop forward. <laughs> when we used to dance in the 70s, we would always have to do Oweki because our pareos were so short that there's no way I was going to have 